What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really compact piston door right behind me. It is super simple to build and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you guys are new around here, consider subscribing and if you enjoy this video, consider liking. Here's the build itself, it is super simple and doesn't require much redstone as, at all. As you can see, it is just a few repeaters and redstone laying around. It is a 3x3 piston door so it is super compact for its size. And then once I flip this lever, you can see how it works. As you can see, it just closed up fully. And then once I hit it again, you'll have your piston door like that. If you want your piston door flush with the ground, just go down three blocks so you can have space for the redstone. Flush with the ground means you can have the, this would be the bottom of the piston door. So you would just have it like this. You can walk across it freely without having to go up a block or two. To start out, pick a building block, place it down here with a redstone on top of it, and then place an observer facing that way, and then a another observer facing into that observer here, where the red dot is on the top here, and then place a dropper here facing this way. Now place an observer facing into this block here where the red dot is here, and then place a building block here with an observer facing this way where its face is here. And then place two sticky pistons like this, facing upwards, like so. You should have something looking like this now. Now on this sticky piston here, place another sticky piston here, but upside down like this. And then place a block on the top of this sticky piston with another block here with redstone on top of this one. Like this. Now you can pick your piston door block. This block can be any type of block except for immovable blocks like furnaces or obsidian. So I'm just going to be using iron blocks for this tutorial. So yeah, just place two of your blocks here. And then from here, just go up one, two, three blocks like so. And then place an observer facing upwards where the face is here. And then place a sticky piston here like so. And then another one there with a dropper on top of this one. Now you can reset these blocks here like so. Now on top of this dropper just place down one redstone on the top and then here just place an observer facing into the dropper like so and then one on the top of the dropper again with a block on top, top of this redstone here with a lever on top. So this is the lever that's going to activate your entire piston door. And then on the back here, just place another observer facing into this one where the dot is in the back. Now place a redstone repeater here and here. Set this one to four ticks, one, two, three, four. This one right here, and then just leave this one as is. Now place a sticky piston facing downwards like this, and then a temporary block there with another sticky piston facing downwards. Now place an observer facing into this block here, and then place your building block here, here for your door. Now place redstone right here where you put your two building blocks. And then place another one here with redstone on top of this one. And a temporary with redstone on top. From this side of the piston door, just go down one, two, and then three sticky pistons like so, and then go one, two, three of your piston door block. Now on this side right here, just place an observer facing into this redstone here with a sticky piston facing this way, like so. Your machine is almost complete. Now just go to the bottom of the build and then just break out the blocks at the bottom here. This is very important or else your machine will not work. So just leave one block at the bottom here. Now place in these two building blocks here, like so, and your machine is complete. And then press this, and it should be done. As you can see, it is fully closed, and then just click this again, and it should be fully functioning. Now to make it flush, just do this with your blocks, like that. And then just flip this, there you go. And you can put like a little wall around it to make it look good. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I create daily Minecraft content. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.